Okay. Okay. So, let's have a little bit of fun. So, apparently, eBay, Dodge Challenger Demon sale, um, 35 minutes remaining, and, um... Right now, they've got one that is being sold, and uh, I made a video like this before, but this time, you can check this uh, VIN number out. Apparently, this one is absolutely uh, new, and uh, you can actually see the VIN number here. It's 2C3CDZC98HH565785, so let's see how much this thing goes for. I don't know how many people are actually watching this or how many people actually know, but uh, somebody's selling one of these things, and their bid is up to $40,100, and there's 34 minutes left. I don't think this is a scam. Actually, I think this is real. So, um, um, basically, uh, yeah, you know, I want to see what this thing actually goes for and, um, you know, whether or not these people bid snipe other people. You know, at the last couple of minutes. Because that's usually how eBay works. So, um... Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. So, basically, um, while I'm watching that bit, I got, like, two other monitors here where I can see uh, other things going on. And, uh, let's see. Live streaming. Okay. Yeah, so let's see what happens. I don't think it's a scam. It couldn't be a scam because the thing about it is... All right, well, let's see if we could check this uh, vid number. You say you think it's a scam. I don't think this is a scam. And you're saying what's the location? The location that I'm seeing here, it says EDD Kirk Motors. Ed Kirk Mo Ed Kirby Motors. Kirby Motors. Now, I don't know what this is. Um, it says order slot. And by the way, so basically this is an order slot. This isn't the actual car, but you're actually bidding for the ability to buy the fucking car. It's like, this is, this is like so ridiculous. Because what's amazing about it is everybody wants this damn thing. The vast majority of people can't afford this damn thing. And because there's so few of them, the vast majority of people who could possibly afford it can't get one. And that I just find that just absolutely amazing. So, um, basically, this uh, VIN number, if you check this VIN number, let's see, let's see, how do we check VIN numbers? Like, what do we go to, like, you, Yahoo or some shit? Let's see, uh, let's see, VIN number lookup. Okay, so VIN number, no, yeah, VIN number lookup. Let's see, VIN check pro. Okay, so let's see what happens. You put that shit in there. Let's see what happens. Well, I think the wide body Hellcat actually makes a lot of sense. Uh oh. Okay, so let's see. It's scanning the country database. So let's see what we come back with. Oh yeah, I want that trackhawk really bad, and I'm you know I'm not paying any markup for it, but it's gonna be time until that actually comes out. I I just don't know because right now you don't know how much it costs. Uh, let's see, uh, check your VIN and try again. It says no confirmed results. Uh-oh, that's not good. No confirmed results. Okay, so he's got 32 minutes and zero seconds. Yeah, the Demon is a track car, you know? Anybody who buys that thing, you're not going to be able to use it. Like, it, the sad thing is, the more and more I look at it, the less and less sense the damn thing actually makes. You know, so um, anybody who buys it, it's like, you know, good good luck for them. Five drinks in LOL. Okay. You know, anybody who's able to afford one of those damn things. 33 bids, huh? Look at this. Okay, so it started, somebody started it with a $5,000 bid, and it gradually went up to $40,000. It's like, who has the cash to buy that shit. Uh, somebody said, uh, question, how much am I going to change on the Trackhawk? Okay, well, first of all, let's see if I, let's see if I have a picture of the Trackhawk so this way we know what we're talking about. Like, let's see, uh, Trackhawk, or well, Trackhawk, let's see, Jeep Cherokee Trackhawk. What am I going to change on it? Because I already know there's a lot of shit that I'm going to change on a fucking thing. Alright, 
Well, first of all, let me get past these stupid goddamn ads. Come on, with these stupid ads. I'm trying to get to the pictures. All right, so as far as what am I going to change on the track hawk? Well, only time will tell if I actually change the hood so that I can make it a Hellcat hood. But I'm definitely going to put Hellcat badges on one and two. So I'm going to put Hellcat badges on the side. I'm going to tear all of this shit right here off where it says Grand Cherokee and that supercharger. I'm probably going to tear that off. And I'm going to put the letters SRT right next to it. And then on the back of this thing, you know how it has that stupid Trackhawk badge? I think that shit is stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Trackhawk off. And uh, I'm going to put SRT on there. Because I don't want anybody to get it twisted. See, the problem is the Trailhawk badge looks too much like the uh, Trackhawk badge. And I, I, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking at SRT to get rid of where it says SRT. You don't do that shit. That guy, Kanikis, he's an asshole. So, you see that shit? That, that stupid hawk thing? You don't even understand what that means. That shit looks like Batman. It's like, I don't like that. That looks It looks like the Batman symbol. It's like, you don't know that this is an SRT Jeep. And I'm taking that off. And I'm going to put a big letters SRT on the back. And I'm going to get the two Hellcat badges. Because you can get the Hellcat badges from eBay. So, I'm going to get those Hellcat badges... And, I, and I'm gonna put those right on the track hawk. And I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna badge the shit out of that car, cause it, like that car actually I think I'll do some uh, what is it Hellcat badges. You can get those off eBay for let's see. Um, I think they're like I think they're like thirty or forty dollars each or something. Yeah, it's like yeah I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get something like that. So this way, you know people will think hey wait a minute. Do you have the Hellcat motor? I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I have the Hellcat motor. Otherwise, I wouldn't have the Hellcat badges on it. Because I'm not like one of these shitty Japanese car ricers where they just put stickers on and they think that the stickers make the car faster. Fuck that. When I put stickers on a car, you know that shit's fast. Yeah. I don't know what the... Gee, I have to say, the guys who are in control at... um. FCA, it's like I'm very disappointed in the way they're dealing with the products outside of Dodge. I'm very, very disappointed in how they're dealing with these products. Now, I think the reason why they didn't engineer a new hood for the Trackhawk is because they were trying to keep the price down. I really don't think they want to have a um, $100,000 Jeep. I think they're trying to keep that price as low as they possibly can. And uh, only time will tell, but... You know, I it's not no no no, it's not lazy. I really think what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep the cost down. Because you really think about it, if they engineered a brand new hood and they changed anything with the exhaust system and everything, that would push the price well above a hundred thousand dollars. I don't think they want it to go that far. So when that track hawk when they give us the price, I really think they're trying to keep that price in the nineties. Because you think about it, a hundred thousand dollars, that would make it more you know, that would make it more expensive than like an Escalade ESV. I don't think they want that to happen. And this is old engine technology. It's not like this is like aluminum uh twin turbo six hundred and fifty horsepower. This is old technology where you're using a big, heavy, inefficient motor and you're getting seven hundred and seven. So I really, really don't think they want this thing to go as 90. I don't think they want it to go as high as 95, honestly. I think this car, may, I think the Trackhawk, and, you know, you, we're not going to know until it actually, until they tell us. But I really think the Trackhawk's only going to be about 89,999. You know, I, I, I really, really don't think they want this thing to, to go 100,000 plus. Now, it's going to cost you $100,000, definitely. But I, I just don't think they want it to go that high because, let's see, where, where do they got? Where do they got? Oh, here it is. It's like, and they refuse to give you prices. They're, they're trying, if if they, you think about it, the Demon is $85,000 and the Demon has ridiculous amounts of new technology, right? So if that's the case and they're trying to keep that price low, and they already getting seventy thousand for these things. I really don't think that they want this thing to hit a hundred thousand dollars. I really do not think they want it that high. They couldn't. And I love how it says build in price, and when you try to click build, it won't tell you about the track hawk. It only tells you about the Jeep SRT. It it only see you look. This is a SRT. A SRT starts at sixty six eight nine five, 
And then when you, even if you option this shit out, it does, it only goes to about 86,000, even if it's fully optioned out. So, um, you know, all this stuff is standard. I didn't get an engine block heater with mine, but that was only a hundred bucks. So apparently that's something they don't even bother throwing in unless you live in like Canada or something. And then it says colors. So what color? I have bright silver metallic. What, which one do I have? Oh, that's the ivory tricoat. Yeah, I have bright silver metallic. And then I have black Laguna seats. I got those black Lagunas. Black Laguna leather. And then that goes up to 77000 So now you go to packages. So obviously I have the moonroof and all that. And I have this uh, high-performance audio. I know I got that. And uh, I have the trailer hitch. So that adds on to the back options. I have these uh, Spider Monkey Blacks. Forge Carb... No, wait. I don't have the black ones, but that's the only way you can option it. And I know I have the Brembo high-performance rotors and all that. And I have the, the run-flat tires, but I have all-season tires, so that's there. So if you look at that, that's $80,360. $80,360. So that's pretty much what I've got right now, right? So if this thing is $80,360, you throw in another $10,000 for that supercharger. You haven't changed the hood and everything. And in fact, you've taken away the fog lights and you haven't changed the hood. That's I have to assume that that thing's about $89,995 or whatever. Like I, my my idea is, it's gonna be about eighty nine 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 nine. It's gonna it has to be about ninety thousand dollars. If they go any higher than that, I think they could have a problem. But I really don't think so. I really don't think so. And they, these people want a down payment of eight thousand three hundred thirty five dollars. Yeah, well, some people say it's too much. The thing about it is, when you really want something, you don't give a shit. So <laughs> that's just you know that's just what it is. So what, what about the Dodge? The Dodge, Dodge Demon. Let's see, the Dodge, Dodge. So there's Demon, it says, track my Demon. Build and price. Um, let's see. Um, Challenger. Build. Okay, um, let's see, SRT Hellcat. But we already know, that's 70,000. But they don't they don't let you build a demon apparently. They don't let you build a demon, which is kind of funny. You'd think that they'd factor the demon in here, but I guess they know you ain't getting one anyway, so I guess they figured they ain't gotta do that. Learn more. Eighty four thousand nine nine five. Yep. That's crazy. World's fastest zero to sixty. Cause you know when this car comes out, everybody's going to be desperate to get one of these on the road versus a Tesla P90D or P100 Ludicrous. And you also know that they're going to be desperate to try to get this thing next to a Bugatti Veyron. It's not going to happen. That You'll never see that race. But you'll probably see a Ventador or a P100D. That, those are the first two cars. And really, those are the only two cars you got to put this thing next to. Because if this thing is beating Lamborghini V12s, it's like there's no argument, man. And and if you can beat one of those fucking Teslas with this car, it's like you're gonna be a hero. Imagine being able to beat one of those goddamn ludicrous mode Teslas with this son of a bitch. And I've driven that ludicrous man. That thing's insane. But if you could do that with this for fifty thousand less, that would be insane. Well, the Bugatti Chiron and the Bugatti Veyron Supersport, those things have a quarter mile of like ten point eight six or something like that. The fucking demon runs nines. And they're saying that this shit's going to be the fastest thing like ever built by the hands of man. It's like, I got to see that shit. Yeah, you're asking, can it beat a Tesla? As far as I know, yeah, it can. And and when you say Tesla, you're talking about ludicrous mode Tesla. If this thing can beat a freaking Tesla, it's like, man, you know, you're going to have people selling their children into slavery to buy one of these cars. You know, many have sold their children into slavery for less. But to have a chance to get one of these things, shit, they'll sell both their kids. 20 minutes. forty Still at 40,100. I mean, after all, when you really think about it, you can always have more children. You can always adopt more children, but you'll never be able to get another demon. 
20 minutes, 42 seconds. I just want to, I want to get to this countdown. I want to see how far this shit goes. Yeah, I mean, after all, when you really think about it, child care, I mean, you, you think about it, in a year, you could spend 146000 in child care. One of my uh, uh, co-workers was complaining about how high child care is. 146000 man. Do you know what I could buy with $146,000? Certainly, I'm not going to spend it on fucking Pampers and formula and shit. $146,000, you could buy both the the Challenger and the Charger Hellcat for that kind of money. You could have children later. All you got to do is get yourself one of them foreign wives, impregnate her ass, give her a green card, give her one of them H-1B visas, keep her ass uh, pampered and everything. Shit. You got to spend all that money. And then what you do is move to a nice uh, one of these uh, cities where they've got a welfare state, and you just send the kid to school free. I'm not spending a hundred and fucking forty six thousand dollars on childcare. That's bullshit. It's like I'm buying me a demon. I mean, when you really think about it, these children are like underperforming disappointments anyway. Well, no, no. Well, go to DR. I've gone to DR, and DR only cost me like I think it was like six hundred dollars round trip. But these childcare costs, man, that's a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Man, that's insane, man. That's insane. You're better off keeping your legs closed. Oh, somebody from Puerto Rico. You have a Challenger Hellcat and you're in Puerto Rico. Juan Catalina. That's cool. Juan Catalina. Let's see if I can see his page. Juan Catalina. Let's see. Juan Catalina. I wonder if I can see his page. Nope. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know. I'll check it out later. Yeah, let's see, where are we? We're still at $40,100, 18 minutes left. Oh, you don't have anything? Well, at least you've got a Hellcat and you're in Puerto Rico with all those big, fat-ass women that everybody's trying to get down there so we can get wives. Because as long as you got those women down there and they know how to make empanadas and they know how to make that Spanish rice, it's like we'll import all of your women right up here. See, the beautiful thing about President Trump is President Trump knows how to use those embargoes to keep certain people out of this country. It's like the only people we need to be letting in, we need to let in those Puerto Rican girls. Well, basically, we should just let in the women. You know, we keep the men down there. You guys can fight to the death. It really doesn't matter to me. But if we let in some of your women, like the young ones who, you know, have uh, ovaries at work, it's like uh, all we got to do is let them in here and America will be great again. But the problem is, if we keep letting these men in here, it's like they, they start that terrorist shit, and the next thing you know, we've got problems, you know? We don't need that. All we got to do is let the women in. And these American women, we could deport their asses because these American women are losers. They're absolute losers. And they're all into that feminism and that neoliberalism bullshit. It's like they can't cook, they don't clean, and uh, you're better off with a bottle of lotion. It's like what we need to do is we need to let more foreign women in here. We need to get rid of all these goddamn um, these terrorists and shit. We got to get rid of them. These, these feminine Nazis. Did I ever visit Puerto Rico? No, not yet. I, I will eventually. I just haven't. Um, not yet. I think the closest I came to visiting Puerto Rico was going to the restaurant Sofritos in uh, Manhattan. And that was probably about it. I did date a Puerto Rican girl once, so I don't know if that counts. They're real clingy. No, the uh, restaurant's name is Sofritos. It's in Manhattan. Sofritos. They used to have it on the east side. They moved it to the left. And I had this big pork shoulder, and that was some damn good pork, man. Okay, you know what? A lot of people ask me these questions. They're like, oh, do you race your cars? The answer is no, I don't race my cars the closest i come to racing my cars is when i'm on the regular highway and there's some asshole next to me with an infinity or something and they think this shit is fast and i'm out there to show them that this shit ain't fast so basically i leave them behind and that's about it but i don't do that drag racing stuff i ain't got time for that you know that's why the, that's one of the reason why the demon doesn't mean anything to me like you got these people who you know they're retirees and they go to the track all the time and they go to drag strip I don't have time for that. It's like I have a business to run, and, you know, it's like I just don't have time for that. Okay, so we're down to 15 minutes, and we're still at $40,100. And we have 33 bids at $40,100, 33 bids. 
Yeah, everybody keeps talking about that video where I was racing the AMGs and the Hoonigan Mustang. And I never really realized that that video would go as far as it did because that video got more views than some of the videos that I expected to get more views. But my problem is it's like in order for me to get views on my videos, I have to like go crazy, you know? Because even my Jeep SRT videos do way better than my Hellcat videos. And I guess that's because in a lot of other countries, you can't buy a Hellcat. So that's why it makes more sense for me to double down on Jeep videos because I get more money for them. Not only that, but when you have a car like this that you want to eventually trade to something else, you have to not drive it. Like, that's the only downside because you want to keep those miles low so this way your trade-in value is high. The depreciation rate on a Hellcat is actually pretty bad. Anybody who has a Hellcat will know that once you put like five or 10,000 miles on a Hellcat, the depreciation drops like $20,000. Now, a Hellcat's return price stays in the $40,000 range. It won't drop lower than that, and the reason why is because those regular SRT and Scat Pack Hemis, those things, if you look at the price of SRT cars, these things don't depreciate. Like, if you look at a 2000, let's say, look at a 2006, especially the Jeep. If you look at a 2006 Jeep SRT, those things are still uh, $30,000 cars. Even a Mercedes S-Class depreciates faster than that. And those things, I mean, you're talking about a $10,000 engine, you know? Like, this shit doesn't depreciate very easily. But let's look at, um, let's look at, uh, 2004, no, 2015 Hellcats. And if they're used, depreciation really isn't that bad. Like, they still want fucking $57,000 for these things. And this shit has 6,000 miles on it. But the problem is, if you bought in at the $70,000 mark, you know, to suddenly watch yourself lose $15,000, some people... You know, some people don't like that. Now, if you're buying one of these cars to keep it, like the Demon, if you buy the Demon, you can't ever sell that car. You got to keep that car. You know? Scat packs right now, like if you look at the price on a new Scat Pack, those cars are $50,000. So there's some people who go to the dealer to buy a Scat Pack and they see a used Hellcat for only like 53 or 52 and they're like, okay, you know what, I'll buy the Hellcat instead. The only downside is the parts are so expensive. So anybody who beats on one of these cars, now you got to replace your tires. Those are expensive. Then you got to replace your brakes eventually. Those are expensive. But some people, it's perfect because, you know, why buy a Scat Pack for 50 when you can buy a Hellcat for 52 you know? And they, they, look how many of these fucking cars are on here. And these are all 2015, 2016s. You can get these things cheaper than I bought my brand new Chrysler 300 SRT. Yeah, the mango is a great color. Red is a great color. Mango is a great color. And um, what is this? Dodge Challenger. Three days left. Look at this. This is um, somebody's trying to sell it for about 50000 Buy it now. Okay, let's see where we are with the uh, Demon. We've got 12 minutes. 12 minutes, we're at $40,000. I want to see these bid snipers come out of the woodworks, those bastards. Let's see. 12 minutes, 12 minutes, $40,100. Let's see how much they sell this thing for. Let's see how much. This shit is going to be crazy. Watch, watch in the last, like, five minutes, the bid's just going to shoot up. It says, would you give in your Trackhawk if they made a 300 Hellcat? Um, to tell you the truth, Adam, the, the, the Jeep SRT, and I try to keep saying this to people because there's some people I know who want to buy Hellcats, and I usually let them drive my Jeep just so they understand the difference. The Jeep is really the best product that FCA has. It really is. There's nothing else that you have that much power that has all-wheel drive that you can drive all year round. The Jeep is the best product that they make. Now, you got to remember, this is the second Jeep I had because I had a black one before. It's just that my girlfriend drove it. I didn't really drive it much. The silver one I'm driving as a daily driver. It's the best product FCA makes. Now, the Trackhawk will make that truck perfect because now you'll have the Hellcat power. But the problem with the 300 Hellcat is that I doubt they're going to make it because, as you've seen, they've already given up on the 300 SRT. But the problem with the 300 is that it's a relatively small car. And 
that shows itself like when I took my girlfriend because she needed an economy car. So we bought a, a what was it? A Genesis uh, Hyundai. When we got that Genesis Hyundai, that Genesis Hyundai has way more leg room in the back and it also has way more leg room in the front. The 300 has decent leg room in the front, but the back is small by today's standards because everybody's moved into SUVs. When I go out to Home Depot or I go to Lowe's or I go to Walmart, I can carry a lot of shit in my trunk in my Jeep that I can't carry and wouldn't carry in the Hellcat because I don't want to damage it. You know, like you don't want that stuff messing up the floor. You don't want spills and shit. Like I've gotten spills from certain things, but it's easier to clean up in the Jeep than it is. You know, I, I wouldn't want to damage the car. Now, the 300 Hellcat, if they made it, it would look great. But the problem is it's still a rear-wheel drive car. A Jeep you can use all year round. And one thing that you'll notice if you ever go into a, 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 a Chrysler dealer or you go into a Dodge whatever Fiat deal, one thing you'll notice is the Jeep, there are no deals on them. Like Hellcats, you can get a Hellcat with a deal on it. You can't get deals on the, uh, on the Jeep. The Jeep SRT has no deals whatsoever. The only time you see any markdowns on a Jeep SRT is if it's set on the lot for a while because of the color nobody wanted. Whenever they buy a Jeep SRT, they load that truck up with every option they can get. And you're talking about 80000 plus, right? Just like I showed you on the uh, configurator. The Jeep, there is no deals on that car. No deals. Because this is the one car that they can you you gotta understand, Dodge does not make right hand drive products. The Jeep and the Chrysler are the only cars you can get from SRT if you live in like Australia or if you live in um like certain parts of the Middle East, you can't get right hand drive cars. So the Jeep is the one car they do not have to make any deals on. Because they know you're gonna buy it because you ain't got no choice. Now, I'm still upset that they didn't do enough with the Jeep. I really, for who the fuck came up with yellow rotors? What kind of stupid shit is that? Who came up with yellow rotors? They act like this damn shit is a Ferrari. It's not a Ferrari. A red Ferrari with yellow rotors, that could pass. But these people, why would you put yellow rotors on a car that's known to have red rotors? That's just so stupid. But that said, I don't like the wheels. When I go to the dealer and we're talking about buying that track hawk, believe me, I'm going to tell the dealer that I want to keep my wheels. And I'm going to tell him, listen, you can give me the new tires, but I want to keep my wheels. I like my wheels. I got those smoke spider monkey wheels. I like my wheels. But who the fuck came up with a yellow rotor for this truck? What, what did they do? Who? Why would you put a yellow rotor on this truck? I, I can't tell you how many times people look, and I've got the red rotors on my truck, and people are like, wow, uh, is that stock? And that, It's eye-catching. My truck is silver, and I got red rotors. Who the fuck put yellow rotors on this truck? Like, that guy needs to be fired. Who, who would do that? People associate speed with the color red. Why would you put yellow rotors on a fucking SUV that's the fastest SUV ever? Do you realize that the Jeep Trackhawk is going to be faster than the Lamborghini Euros? The, the Lamborghini Euros SUV is not going to be as fast as the Jeep Trackhawk. And this thing costs, what, a less than $100,000. The Lamborghini is like three times the price of this thing. And then there's the Bentley Bentiaga, and it's nowhere near as powerful as this. Do you understand that? It's like, who the fuck came up with that stupid idea? You have red rotors, and you have the best-looking wheels you can get. I don't know who came up with that. These, look, these, rotors, these wheels look cheap. They don't, I don't even see where it says SRT on them. These wheels look cheap. What the hell was this guy thinking? No, don't tell me to stop bitching, because the, the thing about it is I shouldn't have to say this. They're supposed to know it. It's like, who at the design phase said, yeah, we're going to put yellow rotors in the truck? It's like, you're a dumbass. Fire that motherfucker. Uh-oh, six minutes. We're down to six minutes. 40,100. Watch the bid snipers. What? Let's see the bid snipers. When are they coming in? They're going to come in soon because these people, uh-oh. How many people are watching this shit? How many people? It's 33 bids. I don't know how many people are watching it, though. Is there a reserve? Um, 
I don't know if there's a reserve. There might be. I don't know. I don't know if there's a reserve here. It says, we have secured an order slot for one of the 3,000 demons built. The vehicle will be sold for MSRP. For MSRP, baby! That means you're only paying 85000 but you got to give us your money now. The bid is for the production slot only. Once the bid is won and paid, we will order the demon to the winner's specifications within any constraints the factory may have. And when built, the demon will be sold at MSRP. So right now, you're paying just for the slot to get the car. The demon. And you can't just use any tires. You got to have the demon tires. And you can't just use any insurance uh uh-uh. uh, you gotta get the demon insurance. It's like, who the fuck is buying these damn things? Uh oh, four minutes. Let's see. I, I wanna see these numbers get pushed up. Let's see how far it goes. Okay, listen, listen, listen. If you wanna get technical about calipers and rotors and whatever, if you wanna get technical, then, you know, get technical. You can call up your mama and you can tell her the difference between a caliper and a rotor. I know the difference between a caliper and a rotor, but when I'm doing shit unscripted, that's just how I talk. So if you want to start making jokes because I call a caliper a rotor or vice versa, you can kiss my ass, okay? You can kiss my entire ass. How long will the Hellcat motor be in production? Well, that depends on your Congress and your president. Because I think everybody knows that Barack Obama sold into solar power and Tesla and that he was determined to basically destroy the internal combustion engine. Now, President Trump has taken away all that bullshit because as far as he's concerned, global warming is a scam by the Chinese. So... Basically, uh, President Trump will make it so that they can make Hellcat fucking motors. They could put those in the Chrysler 200. They could probably put Hellcat motors in the Dodge Journey if they want, but only because of President Trump. So I like to give credit where credit's due. And anybody who's saying fuck Trump, that's because he's going to put you back behind that wall after he builds the wall. He's going to make it so you can't leave Guadalajara. That's your problem, not mine. Because as far as I'm concerned, he's doing a great job. He's attacking CNN. He's attacking MSNBC. I hate those motherfuckers. As far as I'm concerned, Trump is a wrecking ball. I love the guy. In fact, he's he's not too different from me. It's, it's as if I was president and I was an old white guy with so much money that you can't tell me shit. And I can say whatever I want, man. You Man, all I need is a billion dollars. That's fuck you money. I can say whatever I want. If Rachel Maddow kiss my hairy balls. Let's see. Okay, two minutes. 40,100. Let's see how far it goes. We're down to two minutes. Yeah, you know who voted for him. I ain't gonna hide that shit. You think I wanted to hear Hillary's fucking voice for the next four or five years? Hell no. Why can't women have equal rights? We need women to have equal pay for equal work. Yay, woo, Hillary. You think I was going to vote for her ass? Hell no. I would have voted for Carl Drogo before I would have voted for Hillary. I would have turned this country into a fucking drunk before I would have let Hillary in. Shit. I would have voted for Joffrey Baratheon. I would have voted for one of those uh, Game of Thrones people. Uh Uh-oh, 40,000. Oh, shit. Look, it's going. Oh, shit. 40,005. Oh, shit. Look at this. It's going up. Yeah, I would have never voted for Hillary Clinton. I would have voted for Satan himself. Shit. I would have voted for Beelzebub. Uh Uh-oh, 41. Uh Uh-oh, shit. We're going up. We're going up. 41,100. Look at that shit. Oh, shit. It went. uh Uh-oh, we're down to one minute. Oh, shit. It's the demon bid. Oh, shit. 38 bids, 41,100. Y'all better pull more money out of those pockets. I'm calling all rich white people. It's time to buy the demon. Come on, pull some money out of those rich white pockets, guys. Come on, it's time to get the demon, guys. Let's go. Let's let's push this shit to 50,000. Come on, guys, let's do it. I'm calling calling all rich white people. Let's go. Let's go. We got one minute. Let's go. Where those Arab oil shakes? Where's your money at? Pull out. I want you to push it up to a million. Come on. Let's go. One minute, baby. One minute. Where's Bernie Madoff when you need him? 41,300. Uh-oh. Here we go. 
Here we go. 50 seconds. Let's go. Bid snipers. Come on, bid snipers. Let's do this. Let's do it, bid snipers. Oh, shit. 41,005. 40 bids. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, Prince Ben Khalid. Let's go. Pull out that money. Let's go. 41.5. Let's go. Come on. Let, let's see. Last second. Last second. 24 seconds. Let's go. 40 bids. Let's go. Oh, shit. Come on. Prince Ben Sultan Khalid Al Khamenei. Let's go. Pull out that money. Let's go. 43 bids. 42,000. Oh, shit. You got five seconds, boys. You got five seconds. Let's go. What you got? What you got? Do it. Last second. Last second. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. $42,100 for the Dodge Demon factory space. How about that? 43 bids, $42,100. So that means that somebody just spent a fuckload of money. So you got 42000 plus 85000 MSRP plus taxes plus fees. 43 bids. Let's see who won. They're probably not even going to show you the name. This guy, uh-oh, this guy has got 562 stars, so you know he's not fucking around. This guy's not a fake right here. This guy, who's this guy? His name is Ass or something. A-S-S-S -S -S or something. Oh, shit. This guy's not joking. Look at this shit. Number of bids, three. Oh, shit, look at this guy. So now you know who got the demon. One of these guys just got themselves the demon. Look at that shit. This dude just got himself the demon. Well, it looks like that's it. $42,100, 43 bids. Chattanooga, Tennessee. So that means that there's going to be some balding white man out there doing wheelies with this thing until he, like, rolls that shit into a crowd. Ain't that cool. Okay, so this has been another uh, episode of uh, Dodge Demon isms and whatnot. So um, everybody have a very lovely day. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day.